Hi guys, we are here at Expo West, uh, which is the biggest natural product and natural food expo in America. And it's massive, it's huge, it's our second day. We are excited to share with you what we discovered at the expo and what the trends this year are. We were there for 11 hours between Saturday and Sunday and that was not enough to see everything and cover everything and <laughs> try everything. The expo is massive. If you've never been there, it's hard to describe. It is uh, the biggest um, natural product expo in the US and possibly in the world, I'm not sure. It hosts over 58,000 industry members and 3,000 exhibits. And you can find all the hottest, newest uh, specialty products, organic products, sustainable farming, agriculture products, health and beauty products, pet and natural living products. And you can find all your favorite companies at the expo. And we had the opportunity to talk to a lot of company founders, CEOs and um, product developers and so forth. It was extremely exciting and we overindulged in all the amazing vegan food. Um, I, this year I decided to focus on vegan cheese, uh, some crackers and some other items. I was extremely impressed with the new trend in uh, French artisan cheese making. Uh, with only vegan ingredients. Uh, to me, this is uh, groundbreaking and I cannot wait to share it with you. So stick around for the rest of the video and give it a thumbs up if you like this type of content and <laughs> let's get started. It comes with 15 sachets and it's about 45 cups per box. Hi guys, we're here with Miyakos vegan product, vegan cheese company and the reason why we had to shoot this is because the cheese is the best cheese I've ever tried. It's amazing. So here a little bit about the company, where you can find the products, what kind of products they carry. So I'm from Miyoko's Creamery and it is an entirely, entirely plant-based line of cheeses and butters from Miyoko Shinner. And uh, we're so excited because we just won the Nexty Award for our vegan butter, which is super, we're super, super honored. And this just launched a month and a half ago. We've only been around for 18 months and we're so excited to be able to offer just a, a really, really high quality line of artisanal cheeses and butters. This, what's great about this product is you can use it in any recipes, replace it, same as, as if anybody calls for dairy butter, replace this with it. It's palm oil free, organic, delightful. And what about the cheeses? The cheeses? This one is amazing. So this is the, the Mount the Vesuvius black ash. It actually is coated in maritime pine ash from France which from what I've heard is just an amazing product in itself and yet we put it over a cultured cheese product that's been aged. We have our farmhouse smoked, which we actually it's smoke amazing. with hickory smoke. It's not smoke um, flavoring, it's actually from hickory that is been uh, the, the smoke from the hickory. We have our herbs de Provence, which is rolled in herbs and lavender. And then the other new product that we have is our mozzarella, our vegan mozzarella, which as you can see down here, the piece on the pizza it melts. And the ingredients, it's made out of cashews. Cashews? Uh, it depends on the actual item, but, and I don't, oh, let's see. For the fresh vegan moths, we have water, coconut oil, cashews, uh, sorry, all that is organic, organic tapioca starch, agar, sea salt, and culture. And it's super, yeah. super clean. Yeah, and this one, the, the black ash one, which is amazing, it's organic, I don't know if it's gonna zoom, but it's organic cashews and chickpea miso and rice koji and traditional is vegetable ash, sea salt culture. Amazing. And um, you can, uh, where can we find your products? We have nationwide distribution in some Whole Foods, in independent mar markets, but you can also order directly from Miyoko's website and we will cold ship anywhere in the country. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here at Kite Hill. It's another cheese company, vegan cheese company. They have really cool truffle cheese and brie. So, can you tell us a little bit, yes? Guy Hill, can you tell us uh, a little bit about your company, about the cheese, about the products, how you make them, and so forth. 
So we're based out of the Bay Area in Hayward, California, and um, yes, we have a line of know, know, cream cheese, artisan cheese, ravioli, and yogurts, and it's all made from almond milk, and we use a very similar process to how yeah. traditional dairy cheeses are made, um, except with almond milk instead. And uh, my favorite is the chive cream cheese. Yeah. It's really good on bagels. We're serving yeah. it today with um, crackers. And um, yeah, it's really popular, and, and everybody swears it tastes exactly like cream cheese, like how dairy cream cheese would, and even better than a yes, lot of cream it's cheese. Amazing. Yeah, it's and very the tasty. Is amazing, oh yes. yeah, yeah. We have a brie cheese which is aged exactly the way traditional dairy yes. cheese is. Yes, if you can zoom in on the yeah. brie, it has a crisp. So it, it creates a natural rind. Just from a, we have an aging room in the facility to age the cheese, just like um, you would a traditional dairy cheese, but no dairy. Um, just water salt enzymes and yes. the almond milk. And that way, that smoky, yes. it has the the slight pungent taste yes, of the, that does. you're used to for a more aged cheese. Yeah. It does amazing. Oh. And where can we find your product? We're available at every Whole Foods in the United States. Great. This is my this is my favorite dessert. It's really good vanilla almond milk yogurt. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. And stick around. Next we'll um, feature Chao. Vegan cheese made out of fermented tofu that the whole vegan community buzzes uh, about. Everybody says it's just the best vegan cheese. Ah, yeah, you've got a fuzzy microphone. <laughs> yes. Uh, that would be the uh, light root beer, and I think I do. What's your number one? What's your number one seller? Uh, out of this sandwiches, it's tequila, but I think it's Chow Bella's mango sorbet. Uh, I would say tequila. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it tastes like. Maybe because I haven't had it before. Oh my god. Right? It's the best. It's like mango. Frozen yeah. mango. It's the best mango so sorbet delicious. ever. Can I get a mango? Yeah. Thank you. And of course, ciao, honorable mention. This rich and creamy vegan cheese is coconut based and seasoned with a fermented Tofu, traditionally called chow by the Vietnamese, chow slices have bold flavors and a cheesy bite right out of the package or melt it on your favorite hot sandwich or burger. Try the burger. Okay, you guys are going to observe me eating chow burgers. <laughs> How is it? It's mushroomy, very flavorful. Really flavorful. Yeah. But not the right texture. Sorry. Is it? I had to mm -hmm. end on that note. The cheese was. Amazing warm. taste, though. Great mm -hmm. taste. Yeah. So this one. Maybe it needs some tomatoes on it. And mustard. Gummy. It's a little gummy. Um, so you are Liv Cuisine. That's Lip your cuisine. name? That's correct. Liv Cuisine is all plant based foods. And you are the. I'm the chief leaf chief of Liv Cuisine. Leaf. The main leaf. <laughs> All right, namaste. Are we shooting? Namaste, everyone. All right, now we are here at Leaf Cuisine's booth, which is a vegan cheese and vegan spreads a company that creates vegan cheese and vegan spreads and probiotic spreads. And we can hear a little bit more about the company from the main leaf. Hi, I'm Rod Rutundi, chief leaf of Leaf Cuisine. We do uh, specialize in plant food, and our we're specialized in cashew spreads. So we have one line of probiotic cashew spreads where we use fermented cashews and create this tangy, very bold flavored uh, spread. Three different flavors. We have a smoky gouda, peppery jack, and a garlicky herb. Those can be found at Whole Foods and other natural food retailers all over the West Coast and in the Midwest. And then we also have a new line of not cream cheese spreads. These are not fermented. These taste like a cream cheese alternative. We have a plain uh, jalapeno lime and an onion chai. They're great on bagels. Yes. So that's what we do. We specialize in basically vegan cheeses. Thank you. We include palm fruit oil, filter the water, barley, garlic, safflower oil, tomato, garlic. 
that one didn't get cut. Everybody's favorite, peanut butter. So I tried to cover the most exciting, innovative, healthy products at the expo. And spoiler alert, there is a new soy-free cliff bar coming up on the market very soon. Uh, that was absolutely the most decadent, most delicious, amazing thing. Uh, there was hazelnut filled uh, bars, uh, hazelnut chocolate and so forth. So I'm sure everybody will love that. And uh, stick around for part two where um, I will include the interview with uh, the Cliff company representatives and the developer of the Cliff bar. And uh, of course, I couldn't cover everything. I just covered what was exciting and uh, just certain things that can be beneficial to you. Um, and um, I'll see you in part two. Namaste.